Okay, so you're going over your movie. <laughs> you're going, okay, I'm being too annoying here. I want the titles to actually look much better than this. Okay, this is pretty boring, pretty lame, pretty bland. So why don't we go ahead and put the picture of the Hawker Hurricane, all right? Let's go ahead and import the picture, and we'll import the Hawker Hurricane here. It's a black and white photo that I use for my build log here. Okay, so we'll go into um, collections here. And there's your Hawker Hurricane. Now we want to put the titles over it, okay? So let's go ahead and kill that uh, frame there. And we'll go ahead and drag this down, make it in the front, show the timeline, that way we can see all the details. And uh, your photo here showing up five seconds, which is perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and make titles and credits. Now this is done differently in other video editing software, so you're gonna have to look it up. Um, but it's much easier, I think, in uh, Adobe Premiere than it is to do Windows Movie Maker because if you put in the title, you have to delete it, and then after you decide that, you want to actually put a photo in. So Windows Movie Maker title on the selected clip. So let's make sure it's selected. And we'll put a selected clip. Hawker Hurricane. Okay, one, build, log, second build log, alright, there we go, now remember it's a black and white photo, it has to preview here, but that actually showed the, the photo that the clip is going on top of, okay, but that's the nature of how it works, okay, so it's yellow, it's not going to look good if it's in black and white over the black and white photo, so let's make it, um, let make it orange, it should show up okay, and then, um, just add to the title, and you'll see it's under the title overlay uh, layer here. We'll just make it at five seconds so that uh, the whole title uh, covers the uh, the actual photo here. So let's go ahead. Give it a try, and there it goes. It comes in, and then it goes back out again, and then it starts into the log. Okay, and it just, just create a little bit better effect. Splendid. Let's uh, go and fade it in and out into the, the clips here. All right. Okay, but there's still something missing. How about let's put some music in there, man? Let's be a little more creative. Put some music. Go ahead and import uh, the clip here. I have it's called Duty and Honor. Okay. And once you import it, we'll go in your collections. Let's go ahead and listen to it. All right. That sounds good. That's what we wanted to use. Okay. So let's go to timeline. You'll have this uh, audio and music. Um, uh, layer here. Okay, let's go and drag duty and honor in here. And all we need is the first five seconds. This is a pretty long, uh, you know, audio clip for just that segment. So let's go ahead and zoom out here. So you see a little more of the timeline. And then we'll take this and just drag it down to five seconds. Okay. No, that's not five seconds. That's three seconds. Oh, that's and there you go. All right. Now we got that in. Now we. The, the music's going to like cut right out, you know, when it hits the uh, next segment. So let's go ahead and fade out the music, and that will fade out when uh, it gets to the next segment. So we'll go ahead and start it. Take a look. See, there it goes. It moves right into your psychedelic uh, build log there, and that's how you uh, put music and uh, photo on top of your titles. And uh, Okay, everything's all done and stuff, and uh, let's just double check and make sure you have your uh, options. And uh, you have it uh, set to the right format now, maybe it's uh, widescreen or uh, standard screen. Uh, we're doing widescreen here, since we recorded all the stuff at uh, 1280 by 720 for high definition, whatever. And uh, make sure all your other things are right. And then let's go ahead and uh, do a save to my computer. And we save it as a file, call it the Hawker. Okay, and then put it in the right directory. Click next. Yeah, click next. Alright, uh, it says best quality for my uh, playback of my computer. That usually will work. And usually I like to pick it. In high quality video large, you know. And it'll tell you exactly uh, what size it goes on, stuff like that. Um, I do, uh, let's see here. What I would do is. Uh, high quality, there you go. Uh, it's a it's a little odd here because the way you don't get very much uh, settings for Windows Movie Makers, but uh, just make it um, you know whatever aspect ratio it is, and uh, check uh, YouTube and see what the best um, size uh, and stuff that uh, you should import it in. Okay, and uh, you can just do high quality here, and then uh, click next, and it'll start saving it. And right, now what we want to do is go to YouTube, 
Go into your account. If you don't have one, just create one. Very easy. I don't have to walk you guys through that, I hope. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, let's go to YouTube. I'm already signed into my account for the videos for my uh, scale models, okay? What you're going to do is go into uh, your your account here, go to my videos. And it's very simple, very upfront. Go to new and then uh, video upload, okay? And click upload video and then choose the video file that you're going to upload. And then there you go. And it starts uploading and you put in your description, your tag, your category. Uh, make sure in the tags you put in all the you know keywords of what you're doing that way you know it'll show up really good and then once you saved it okay what you're going to do is go to your account now for I'm sorry for um pro modelers what you're going to do is uh, you're going to have to get the embed code and for some really odd reason the embed code doesn't show under your um, channel here so you actually have to go to the video here Okay, just click on that. Let's get to the actual video here. All right, so when in this screen here, you'll get this uh, over here in bed. Okay, so open that up. And what I usually do for pro modelers, for all my pro modelers uh, buddies over there, so you know, pick a size and whatever, play in HD, include related videos, whatever. Um, do it around, see, I think 500, 560 would be okay. It won't kill the form uh, with. Copy the embed code here. Okay. And we'll just go to Pro Modelers. Okay, and let's just say um, you're gonna go ahead and post an update on your uh, build here. And then my new you know, updates. And then what you're gonna do is uh, you know type it in. Hey, here's the latest. Okay, and then what you can do is click this uh, view HTML source thing here. Click that. You know, you'll see HTML code. Don't freak out. Go to the end and just paste it in, okay? And then you're done. And if you want, you can just go ahead and preview the post and make sure it went through, okay? And voila. Okay, I think you might be able to do the next size up without killing the forms. And then everyone can see your video. Over at the SMA forms here, okay, for all my SMA buddies over here, uh, let's say you go to Birds is Plane. Okay, let's go and. Uh, Post a new topic, or you know, add, you know, reply to your own topic. Update on my build blog. All right, and then uh, hey, here it is. And then you click. Uh, this is different. You click the YouTube login. You'll you'll get the form code for YouTube. Now you don't need the embed code for this. Okay, and just go to share. And this time you don't actually have to go to the video. And all you need is this link here. All right, copy that link, go back to your post, in between the YouTube codes there, you just paste that in, and then it'll just go ahead and automatically do it for you. Wow, this episode got long, three parts, so let's close out here, so i got to make this quick. Before I close out, I'm um, going to recommend two cameras. The first one is a webcam. It's the Logitech Webcam Pro 9000, not the QuickCam Pro 9000. Webcam Pro 9000, okay, has a couple extra features more than the QuickCam Pro. They both look the same, they cost the same, about 99 bucks. You could get it cheaper if you shop around on the internet. I've seen it for about 70. The second camera is, is the Pocket Camcorder Kodak ZI8. Awesome um, camcorder for the budget, okay. Um, beats out the minnow 100 times over, okay, HD minnow, or whatever minnow, whatever that line is, okay. I had that, returned it, didn't like it. Got the Kodak ZI8, awesome, just totally awesome, okay? Um, it takes an SD memory card, so expect to spend a little for that too, okay? The camera costs around $210, not including the SD card. I got the ZI8 over at Target for $178, and then bought the SD card, about a four gigabyte SD card, I think it's 20 bucks. So it all came out to 200 bucks, so it, I just got a deal over at uh, Target. So just look around. It's the Kodak ZI8, okay, not the ZI6 or any other models. The ZI8, okay. I highly recommend it. Records in HD, does even 1080p if you wanted to shoot in that. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Um, I'll be making more episodes, so I'll hopefully see you there.